Yeah, I started really, really well with uh, Provencian and Galve. And I think I had just a lot of bad luck during the start of the season because after the two results that I had in uh, Provence and Algarve, I crashed bad uh, in the last stage of Algarve and I had an inflammation, so I had to recover. And then uh, after a few weeks, I was back racing in, uh, in Italy and then I crashed again on the, on the downhill in the last uh, part of the race. That could be a great result for, for us, for Astana. So reset the mind again, go to Parinis. Parinis, uh, I don't know, maybe there was like a virus that uh, was around the race because uh, I think 90% of the, the peloton there get sick, got sick, so, and me too. So again, out of the race for sickness. So I had uh, just one, one goal on the mind, so was preparing the classics, the Ardens. But as everybody knows, uh, in, uh, in Amstel I wasn't uh, so, so lucky because I crashed really, really bad on the roundabout. And from there I just skipped all the classics because I had to recover the concussion that, uh, that I had. Five stitches on the, on the eyes and another four stitches here. Um, the, the teeth was broken and I had a really bad concussion. I think the, the medical staff said uh, I lost the memory and I lost about 20 minutes and I was uh, passed out like uh, I couldn't move in the ground. So that was a really, really bad injury and I had to recover really with attention because you never know the concussion, how it's reacting when you are cycling. And luckily after 10 days, it was okay, I could ride the bike again. So I went to Teide for preparing the Delfinato and Tour de France. Yeah, it was just the hunger of uh, no results and uh, for all the bad luck that they had that pushed me because I, I went there with almost one week of training, not a lot, but was enough for, for a podium. So I think it was a great start, a great restart of the last part of the season, now the second part of the season. So I'm really focused to, to win because I didn't win this year. <laughs> I came back um, four days ago from Teide, from altitude. So when you come back from altitude, it's always you miss the 5% five, five that I will have that 5% more with racing. So for the national and for the Tour de France, I think uh, I'm going to be in my 100% shape. Uh, just be on the list and start the Tour de France is a dream and I think we have a really good team there and Lutsenko was top 10 last year so we are gonna support him really really well and I hope to be good enough maybe in a few stages get my opportunity I don't know but I hope to to do a really really good Tour de France for the team and for me. The team uh, doesn't make me a lot of pressure doesn't put me on me a lot of pressure I think is the pressure that I put on myself is much more uh, heavier than the, the team because uh, I'm here, I'm, I'm professional and I, I want to win, I want to, to have results. So the team is like, uh, okay, but you're still young, you have time, work time on time, step by step. But I, I just want to be really, really the, the best of me in every, in every race. So 